good YouTube because of Kobe here. So we're going to get into Samson's next new song that we haven't covered. This is the Donut Fryer. I'm excited for some more Samson, man. And we got another one after this one he put out a few days ago. So I'm excited to check this one out. Samson comes with really great bars. He's a fantastic lyrical rapper. Endless schemes with this guy from the catalog, the back catalog and everything that I've checked out by him. He has endless schemes, endless wordplay, very creative, very unorthodox, very much himself, and I appreciate that about Samson. So I'm excited that we're getting some new music from him and more frequently releasing because it was a while since he last put any out for, I think it, maybe he did like one song and then had like a nine or ten month break something like that it was a while so i'm excited that we got some samson to cover on the channel i haven't had a chance to do much of him since i started back up on reactions i appreciate you guys tuning in go ahead and subscribe for me if you're new here we talk about mental health addiction world issues everything in between break down all the bars try to catch as much stuff as possible for you guys i love breaking bars down i got a whole nine yards with trying to catch as much of these lyrics for you as i can we get some awesome conversations going on here the donut fryer i don't know what to expect with a song called this we had some really fucking good donuts the other morning i took a picture of it and put it on here they were made so damn well i was so impressed i had to show you guys <laughs> seriously go check out that picture they had some seriously great donuts where i got my donuts from the other day shouts out man fucking epic I appreciate you guys tuning in. We're going to get into some Samson. If you struggle with mental health and addiction, please go get yourself some help. I like to say that in every video. As someone who's in recovery from alcoholism and hard drug addiction, it took me a long time to pull myself out of that and live a better life for myself. But we've arrived to where we are on this channel, hanging out the way we do and helping each other out the way we do. I couldn't be more grateful than to have a platform where we can do that with each other and build an awesome community like we have. So thank you guys very much. We're going to get into this for you. I'm Vagasa Kabi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. We got Samson with the donut fryer. Oh. Uh. Eating pastries at the motherfucking donut fryer Smoking okay. so much fucking blunts, I swear that no one's higher Hoes admire okay. the phone because what I wrote is dope I'm trying to bring a bitch back home It looks like Winona Ryder I ain't <sighs> This guy's great <laughs> Four bars in We got four bars in and they're all solid as fuck bars Brilliant rhyme scheme too as well I like, I like it I like it so far. We're gonna catch these. Uh. Eating pastries at the motherfucking donut, donut fryer. Smoking okay. so much fucking blunts, I swear that no one's higher. No one's higher. admire nice. the flow because what I wrote is dope. I'm trying nope. to bring a bitch back home that looks like Winona Ryder. I ain't. <laughs> Let's admire the flow because the flow is dope. He said, I'm trying to bring a bitch back home that looks like Winona Ryder. <laughs> relatable. Fucking relatable. Let's get into our fucking coffee here. Some caramel Starbucks. Oh yeah. We getting basic in here tonight. <laughs> and I love you guys, man. But yes, I love it. I love the Winona Ryder bar. Winona Ryder was one of my favorites growing up as well. Winona Ryder and Natalie Portman. My two favorite actresses growing up. Uh, eating pastries at the motherfucking donut fryer Smoking so much fucking blunts, I swear that no one's higher Hoes admire the flow because what I wrote is dope I'm trying to bring a bitch back home that looks like Winona Ryder nice. I ain't afraid of no motherfucking opponent either Bring it yeah. on wherever you want, let's go blow for blow like fighters I'll leave no survivor Oh god, is he gonna fucking use the same rhyme for the whole song? I have a feeling that that's the vibe we're going for. I think he's about to use the Friar rhyme for this whole entire song because he hasn't switched it up yet and we're like eight bars in about. 
If he does that, that would be fucking wild. Because extended schemes like that, once you get so deep into them, you gotta get real fucking creative to say something that you haven't already said or rhyme something that you haven't already rhymed. So if he continues on the same rhyme scheme, on that ending rhyme, it's gonna be real interesting. He said he ain't afraid of no fucking opponent either. I like that he bent it instead of saying either. He said either to get the rhyme in there proper. I like bending the words like that. Smoking so much fucking blunts, I swear that no one's higher. Hoes admire the flow because what I wrote is dope. I'm trying to bring a bitch back home that looks like Winona Ryder. Yeah. I ain't afraid of no motherfucking opponent either. Bring it on wherever you want. Let's go blow for blow like fighters. I'll leave no survivors yeah. to tell the popo we're notify. I'm just a pit of skulls and broken bones from those who died here. Keep it rolling. Oh, it's just a pit of skulls and broken bones from those who died here, he said. He said, you're going to have to notify the police and tell them that there's no survivors. My guy, Samson, you can try. Samson's going to come for everybody. <laughs> Survivors to tell the popo we're notify I'm just a pit of skulls and broken bones from those who died here. Keep it rolling like a Toyo tire. No matter who you are, I'm rapping in circles like we're both in a cipher. They ain't got okay. no style, so they thought if they bite mine, then they get superpowers from it like they're Toad McGuire. I'm about to drop. <sighs> huh. Huh. I wonder. I wonder if, did you say that specifically because of the Toby song by Eminem Samson, or is that just you making it fit in the rhyme? But for the fact that he is stretching this scheme out the way he has, notice he hit Winona Ryder, and then he hit Toby Maguire way later in the scheme. He's taking names, and he's even finding celebrity names and reference names that align with the rhyme scheme and referencing them right damn this is gonna be yeah, i think he's about to extend this rhyme scheme the whole way out man and that's fucking epic actually it's not something you see too often so in this part he said no matter who you are i'm rapping in circles like we're both in a cypher i like that right there Survivors to tell the popo we're notify I'm just a pit of skulls and broken bones from those who died here. Keep it rolling like a Toyo tire. No matter nice. who you are, I'm rapping in circles like we're both in a cipher. They ain't got no style, so they thought if they bite mine, then they get superpowers from it like they're Toad McGuire. I'm about to drop. He said they ain't got no style, so they think if they bite mine, they might get superpowers just like Toad McGuire. Mmm. I like this. This is a classic flow, too. He's got it real nice and slowed down here. Real slowed down flow. Kind of reminiscent of, like, some old school Eminem, actually. Kind of reminds me a little bit of that early era of Eminem, like the Infinite album era. Similar beat style, similar flow style to that era of Eminem. I like it. So they thought if they bite mine, then they get superpowers from it like they're Toad McGuire. I'm about to drop shit like broken pliers. I'm old nice. school, so I ain't posting shit on Twitter, bitch. I'm posting flyers. I let it spread Ooh. through word of mouth. And oh, he said, oh, he's about to be dropping some shit like broken pliers, bitch. He's old school. He said he ain't putting it up on the socials. He's hanging up some fucking flyers. Hell yeah. I love this game. I love what he's doing here. What? I just slowly rise to totals I ain't never seen before this in my whole entire life. Go mm. ahead and have your moment for your glow expires and your motor dies nice. and you decide it's time to go retire. I'm so in <sighs> Lord have mercy. He's basically saying I could do this forever, but I don't think that most of you out here could last without like having some sort of gimmick or shit behind you he's saying i don't think that you can just come with straight bars and have that longevity to it your bars ain't good enough is what he's saying he says you ain't gonna have the longevity like i'm gonna have because my bars are endless he's saying most of you got people writing your stuff for you and you don't have that longevity factor because you're just a gimmick that somebody is writing for. Yeah, that's that's fucking factual though. He ain't telling a lie. <laughs> but a bitch, I'm posting flyers. I let it spread through word of mouth and watch it slowly rise to totals I ain't never seen before. This in my whole entire wow. life. Go ahead and have right your moment before your glow expires and your motor dies and you decide it's time to go retire. I'm nice. so inspired that I'll probably still be spitting dope shit after I'm dead. Now that's what I call a ghost writer. I'm 
he said, I'm so inspired that I'll probably still be spitting dope shit after I'm dead, and that's what I call a ghost writer. Nice. Nice ghost writer. And you can also take it as a ghost writer pun as well, right? The ghost writer movie. But yeah, you can take it as that as well, a little double inside of there. I like that. Some flyers, I let it spread through word of mouth and watch it slowly rise to totals I ain't never seen before this in my whole entire life. Go ahead and have your moment for your glow expires and your motor dies and you decide it's time to go retire. I'm so inspired that I'll probably still be spitting dope shit after I'm dead. Now that's what I call a ghost rider. I'm nice. toting iron like Marty Robbins and old attire. Holster on my side. Oh, oh Marty Robbins and old attire. So see, he's got so many name references as well. I like that he's referencing names. Be still be spitting dope shit after I'm dead. Now that's what I call a ghost rider. I'm toting iron like Marty Robbins and old attire. Like Holster Marty on Robbins my side, horseback, tire. ready to open fire. And Ooh. if they try to hit back, I let them. Ooh, Ooh. toting arms, holster. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Bring that back real quick. Let's bring that back. I like that one. Fire, holster on my side, horseback, ready to open fire. Holster on my side, horseback, ready to open fire. I wanted to make sure I remembered it right. I like that right there. Slinging it like the Wild West, eh? And if they try to hit back, I let them do it. Because the shots they take don't even do shit like a dose of Pfizer. So then if they try to hit back, I'm just going to let them do it. Because the shots that they take don't do shit like a shot from Pfizer. Samson. <laughs> Yeah, that's a Samson. That's a that's a kind of Samson bar that we know. That's the that's that Samson on that fucking controversial shit. He had he had to throw a little bit of shock value inside with a bar like that, right? Samson is very very well educated. Like he said it in cesspool. Whenever he goes to write a specific political kind of song or something about a topic, he studies it to the point of like making sure that there isn't misinformation or anything and it like spends all a bunch of time fucking making sure his bars are right and shit like that when it comes to those po like controversial political social issues kind of songs. And I appreciate that about his approach to it i really like that because it's easy to have misinformation inside of a song like that and samson goes out of his way to really research shit when it comes to putting out spe songs specifically like that but this is just bars and he had to throw one of them shock value style bars in there it's a samson thing you guys know poster on my side horseback ready to open fire and if they try to hit back i let them do it because the shots they take don't even do shit like a dose of pfizer Anyone that said your dope's a liar, no one gives a wow. fuck about you, homie. You're an open micer. God damn. He said, Anybody who told you your shit's dope is a liar, he said, You're an open micer. Damn, Samson. Samson is not playing with anybody. I think that, like I said, I think Samson's just putting out open warnings here saying, I got these bars and I can fucking, like, go in on some battle rap type shit. And say, like, this is, he said he just wanted to rap, and I like when he just raps. I like his flex style. I like how creative it is. I like how he stands his ground, and he really has a confidence in himself. You can even see it, like, look at his face. Look at this face right here. That's the face of a man who knows his purpose and knows exactly how he feels about everything he's talking to right now. <laughs> Just look at it. That face says, I know exactly how I feel and what I want to say about all of this, and I'm going to say it to you. I love it. I love it, man. Epic. Side horseback ready to open fire and if they try to hit back i let them do it because the shots they take don't even do shit like a dose of pfizer anyone that said your dope's a liar no one gives a yeah. fuck about you homie you're an open micer a bunch of sad boy rappers with their nails painted rocking leather jackets looking like a gang of homo bikers My oh no he said a bunch of sad rappers with their nails painted he said rock of leather jackets looking like a pack of homo bikers my guy <laughs> Yeah, that is, I mean, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know what happened with the climate shift on that one, but yeah, the nail painting thing started, like, a, a little while back, but, like, that shit would not have flown 
back in the day. People would have been getting their asses roasted 24-7 back in the, <laughs> the old days of hip-hop. If one motherfucker ever paid... I think ICP, Eminem got ICP for it back in the day on the song, on the song Marshall Mathers. Yeah, yeah. I think they might have been like maybe some of the first ones to do it, which whatever. I mean, dress however you want and have your style however you want. I'm not here to fucking knock it. I was certainly a sort of like a emo kind of kid back in high school and shit like that. I like to paint my nails and stuff. So back in those days, I kind of grew out of it. The older I got further into like my adulthood and everything, I grew out of that phase of myself. But Samson say, <laughs> see, like I said, the climate just shifted or back in the day, everyone would have been getting roasted for that. And now it's like, there's, he said sad boy rappers, but I mean, honestly, the people that are dropping like trap bangers and shit like that paint their nails too now. So, I mean, it's. It's just a thing. And Samson, apparently Samson has his feelings on it. He says, I'm going to use this as a roast for you guys. <laughs> Nothing personal, just Mars, but still, Samson going in. Because the shots they take don't even do shit like a dose of Pfizer. Anyone that said your dope's a liar, no one gives a fuck about you, homie. You're an open micer. A bunch of sad boy rappers with their nails painted, rocking leather jackets, looking like a gang of homo bikers. My eyesight is like looking through the scope of a sniper, and my voice is a firing pin that hits the bullet primer. I could. That is a fucking bar. My eyesight is like the scope of a sniper. And then he said, hold up, this was a fucking nice right here. I like this one. Hold on. Leather jackets looking like a gang of homo bikers. My eyesight is like looking through the scope of a sniper. And my voice is the firing pin that hits the bullet primer. I could my voice is the firing pin that hits the bullet primer. That is a fucking bar, my guy. Nothing else to say about it. I just wanted to acknowledge it because it's great. Put you in contact with all your lost ones, dog. I'm giving out more bars in a moment. Okay, oh, he said I could put you in contact with all of your lost ones, dog. That's disrespectful, Samson. Samson don't care, man. <laughs> Leather jackets looking like a gang of homo bikers. My eyesight is like looking through the scope of a sniper, and my voice is the firing pin that hits the bullet primer. I could put you in contact with all your lost ones, dog. I'm giving out more bars than a mobile phone provider. More bars than a mobile phone provider. You gotta keep going with that scheme. I can't. Yeah, you can. No, I can't. Yeah, you I can. can. Alright, fuck it. The <laughs> He said, no, I can't. I don't have anything else to say. Right? You start getting that deep into a scheme with the same exact rhyme. And you say, you have to start getting creative, like I said. And he has gone well above and beyond with that, I will say. He has gone above and beyond with the creativity here. Keeping that same rhyme. Very fucking awesome. I like that he did that. I like that he chose to do this supplier giving you what you most desire putting rappers okay. under more pressure than an ocean diver oh no he's getting yeah see uh this is, what did i say at the beginning i said the deeper into a rap like this that you get with the same scheme the more crazy the bars are gonna get because you're gonna start to run out of regular things to rhyme you're gonna have to really dig in your bag to fucking find creative rhymes and that's that's where we are now. It's about to get real fucking funny and probably complex. It already has. The flow supplier giving you what you most desire, and then after that, he said, Giving you what you most desire, putting rappers under more pressure than an ocean diver. Putting rappers under more pressure than an ocean diver. That is, that's a lot of fucking pressure, man. I'll tell you what, that's a lot of fucking pressure right there. <sighs> he's, he's saying you're going to have to decompress by the time I'm done with you. That's what he's saying. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I like that. That's creative right there. I don't know how much you guys know about decompressing yourself after you've been under really deep water, but it's kind of a necessity. 
That's what he's saying. So it'll pull you into deep water to the point where you need to decompress like a fucking ocean diver, bro. I love it. The game so watered down, I had to turn on my wipers in order to see him maneuver nice. around the slower drivers. Why you sleeping? He said the game is so slow that I needed to turn on. Oh God. He said I needed to turn on my wipers just to see. <laughs> Had to turn on my wipers in order to see him maneuver around the slower drivers. Slower Why you drivers. sleeping on me, bitch? This ain't no overnighter. I've been doing this shit since the tyke when I was loading diapers. He said, Why you sleeping on me, bitch? This ain't an overnighter. I've been doing this shit since I was just a tyke when I was loading diapers. Yeah, we're getting creative now. We're getting really deep into the. I'm gonna leave a like on this video. I gotta make sure I leave a like on this for Samson because he's killing it with this one. I like it. Wipers in order to see him maneuver around the slower drivers. Why you sleeping on me, bitch? This ain't no overnighter. I've been doing this shit since the tyke when I was loading diapers. Nice. I wanted this with everything in my body, my heart, and my soul, and my brain, every vein, every bone, every fiber. I'm gritty. Wow. Wow, breaking it all down for you. So I've been wanting this since forever with every ounce of my heart, my soul, my bones, my veins. Wow. Just listing it all off here. I love it. This is great. I've been doing this shit since the tyke when I was loading diapers. I wanted this with everything in my body, my heart, and my soul, and my brain, every vein, every bone, every fiber. I'm yeah, prettier every than fiber. an episode of The Wire. When you hear my vocals poke through your headphones, you know there's no one tighter. Afraid. Wow, I feel like he's in an episode of The Wire when you feel this flow poke through your headphones. You know that there's no one tighter than The Wire. Oh my god. He is on one. He's on one with this game now because he's run out of basic rhymes. <laughs> I've been doing this shit since the tyke when I was loading diapers. I wanted this with everything in my body, my heart, and my soul, and my brain, every vein, every bone, every fiber. I'm grittier than an episode of The Wire. When you hear my vocals poke through your headphones, you know there's no one tighter. Afraid to post your shit online because you know that they'll roast you, so you just avoid the web. He said, afraid to post your shit online because you just know that they'll roast you. He said, oh my goodness. Shit, man. Well, if there's one thing I have to say about what he just said there. If you got some music and you got a dream that you want to follow, even if it's not the greatest thing and you're still working at it, shit, let them roast you. Let it happen. It'll give you thick skin, man. It'll give you thick skin. Everybody's got to go through it at some point. Ain't nobody posting anything online without getting an occasional comment that is roasting them. It's just the climate of it all. But Samson's saying shit. He says, I could tell you before you even put it up that they're going to roast you for it if you do put it up. But still put it up, I'll say. I'll say bear the storm and get better through it. Let it make you better. That's my advice. Oh, there's no one tighter. Afraid to post your shit online because you know that they'll roast you. So you just avoid the web like you had a phobia of spiders. I'm groundbreaking when I spin. I explode like geysers shooting straight up in the air. And said you avoid the web like you got a phobia of spiders. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Bring it back. Avoid the web like you had a phobia of spiders. I'm groundbreaking when I spit. I explode like geysers, shooting geysers. straight up in the air and just keep going skyward till I blow up. He's like groundbreaking, exploding like some geysers. He's just fucking climbing up the sky now. Man. Avoid the web like you had a phobia of spiders. I'm groundbreaking when I spit. I explode like geysers, shooting straight up in the air and just keep going skyward till I blow up so high you don't even know where I am. Just to find me, you need to adjust your eyes and make your focus wider. You need. So he's going so far into the sky that you need to adjust your focus. <sighs> you don't even know where I am just to find me. You yeah. need to adjust your eyes and make your focus wider. Focus you need wider. a telescope and special focal eyewear and a wide array of high-tech radar location finders that... <laughs> Oh 
<laughs> he decided to really double down on it and let you know every single fucking piece of technology you're gonna need to see him. Not just the telescope. He said you're gonna need the radar, the high-tech radar, location finders, a wide array of them specifically. Not just one. You're gonna need a wide array of them, he said. This is so specific. The telescope and special focal eyewear. Wow. I like it. I fuck with this. You need a telescope and special focal eyewear and a wide array of high-tech radar location finders that takes pictures and analyzes them through photo science to track down objects lost in the solar system. No. He said the one that takes pictures. <laughs> <laughs> He literally just broke down the science of piecing images together through radar. That's what. That's how they pieced that image of that black hole together a few years ago. And I don't even know if that's real, to be completely honest. I don't know what I believe about that shit anymore whenever that kind of stuff comes out. But apparently, that's how they got it. <laughs> you don't even know where I am just to find me You need to adjust your eyes and make your focus wider You need a telescope and special focal eyewear And a wide array of high-tech radar location finders That takes pictures and analyzes them through photo science To track science. down objects lost in the solar lost system Y'all oh, um, can't see me His name is John Cena <laughs> I love it. I fucking love it. This is awesome. Samson did a killer job on this right here. This is fucking dope, man. I really enjoyed this. I like he, that he went the whole way through with that rhyme scheme. He got really creative. He basically said, you're going to need the fucking radar detectors that fucking use photoscience to piece images together and find objects lost in space. And then by the end, he said, you know what? Fuck it. Nope. You can't even see me. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Talk your shit, man. Samson. I like when Samson just raps like this. I really like it. I love the when he just raps and it's not about anything specific. He's very good at it. it. He has great battle bars, battle style bars. He would do very well in a battle with anyone. Anyone at all. Honestly, he could hold his own. He has the wordplay, he has the creativity. He has the drive, he has the confidence, and I don't think I don't think we're gonna see Samson battle anybody. I don't think so. But if it does happen, he'll certainly bring the fucking heat because this is just him fooling around and having a good time with himself. Hell, it might have even been a freestyle. Like that might have just been him fucking having bars inside of his head and fucking throwing them down on a beat without even fully writing it down and shit like that. That's how a lot of songs like this get written with these, like, flex style bars, specifically. A lot of them are just freestyle type of bars. Not, maybe not, like, directly the whole way through in one take, but, like, just hopping on the fucking mic in the studio and saying the next rhyme that comes to your mind for the topic of confidence and flexing and telling how good you are with your wordplay and describing it creatively a lot of the time that comes as freestyle kind of bars that aren't written down or memorized in any sense you just kind of spit them out there on a beat and come up with something real creative like this i think that might be the kind of direction samson takes when it comes to these specific types of songs right here this style specifically very much so enjoyed this fucking awesome original will be in the description as always subscribe to samson support all the artists that we have on the channel especially the independent ones they work their asses off to put out the best music possible and it it's really awesome to be able to get on here and just break down their bars and really appreciate the music and the craftsmanship of it i love getting on here and doing this for you guys so Thank you very much for all of your support. It means the world to me. All of you guys, thank you for supporting my recovery. Go show Samson some love. He's got bars, man. I like this. I fuck with it. We gonna get out of here. I'm Vakasa Kavi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck. <laughs>
those apples, leave a like for me, comment those suggestions, subscribe up this way, bang that notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Have a blessed night. Peace.